welcome everybody. Uh, my name is John Mannion. Uh, we're just going to do a chicken dish today. Uh, we're cooking here in the Wild Goose. Uh, this is a little chicken dish. It's called chicken parmigiano. Very simple. And I'll run through the steps with you. I'm going to start with the sauce. Anybody can do this sauce at home. Just the ingredients, a little butter, and some chopped mushroom, and some onion. Just chop it finely because the taste of uh, large pieces of onion in the sauce is not very nice. There we go. Now, we'll get that on the gas there and let it be softening. Good. Now, over here, we have some chicken that's been marinating in oil. When I say marinating, we just took a breast of chicken, cut it in half uh, overnight, left it in some oil and some crushed garlic. You can cook this on a pan or a griddle plate if you have it. We're using the flat grill here in the kitchen. And once that's sealed off, I'm going to transfer it to the charcoal grill just to give it a little flavor. Some of the ingredients we need. I've got some fresh thyme and some smoked bacon lardons. If you don't have baked smoked bacon lardons, you can get these in any supermarket, but if you don't have it, any bacon will do, or some rashers. I'm gonna turn up the heat there. And I'm gonna add in some fresh thyme. Again, dried thyme can be used, but there's nothing quite like the taste of a fresh herb. So be generous with it. And don't worry about little stalks. Uh, you know, these all add to the character, the rusticness of the dish. They can be taken out later if you wish. Okay. So we have our onion, mushroom, bacon, and thyme. Okay. To this, we have a little white wine. This is a Chardonnay. Uh, any cooking wine will do, it doesn't matter, house wine. I'm just going to turn these chicken and we'll come back to them later. This is a little seasoning that we have in the kitchen, but you can buy a seasonal or something like such, some such product in the supermarket. Failing that, salt and pepper is fine. The reason for the bacon is that when it renders, you get a lovely uh, flavor through the sauce, a nice rustic flavor. Okay. We only want about a half cup of wine. Now it's very important to let the wine cook out. What we say is we generally reduce the liquid by a third uh, for two reasons to enhance the flavor, to strengthen the flavor, and to burn off the alcohol. So we leave that cook away there for a minute, and I leave the gas on high. One thing I would say to you at home, don't walk away from this pot at home, keep your eyes on it. Last thing you want is for the pot to burn dry. I'm going to transfer these chicken that are now sealed. I'm going to put them on the charcoal grill here, just for a little flavor. and. We also have here a little oil that we use in the kitchen. It's a flavored oil and it's very nice for producing a, a nice flavor on our chicken. And is the, quickly back to our pot. As you can see, the wine reduces quite quickly. Gives a, a nice looking cooking liquor in here. What you've got is almost a stock. In the supermarkets you can buy cooking cream. I recommend this because it works much better in salt for your sauces. It won't crack, uh, it doesn't turn buttery. So into this again, just about a half cup. And I'm going to leave that come to the boil. And that's it. There is nothing else necessary for your sauce. This will thicken itself. I'm going to turn down the gas here on this. If you have a grill at home, to finish your chicken, we'll take this here. 
so an ordinary household grill will do this for you. All you want is some proprietary breadcrumb. I have some flavoured breadcrumb here, but ordinary breadcrumb will do fine. And just spread that on your chicken. And hit the other ingredient, and final ingredient, is some Parmesan cheese. So we generously top your chicken with cheese. And under the grill. So we'll just leave that for a moment. Again, the oven will do for this if you don't have a grill. Okay, so now I just need a plate. Take a little garnish. So, maybe a salad. And as you can see, this sauce starts to thicken. You got the cooking cream self thickens. So there's no need to worry about a roux, there's no need to worry about corn flour. It's gluten free. Um, not great for your diet, but when we're cooking special dishes like this, we don't worry too much about it. Check on the chicken, nearly there, another minute. Just want to melt the cheese, make sure that it's nice and crusted. Parmesan cheese, when it's cooking, improves with a little crustacean on top. Flavor develops, very nice. Almost there. Now, here we go. This, this is two portions, so we only need to have one on this. And a very tasty little meal it is. Very tasty sauce, and the chicken is very flavorsome as well. And there's a little eating in the sauce as well, as you can see. It's not, not your normal, just a wet sauce. And just a little garnish of thyme. There we go. It's chicken parmigiano. Very simple, very easy to do at home. The secret to all of these dishes that, that you're cooking at home is to gather your ingredients. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to uh, cook a dish at home, you feel all empowered, ready to go and find that you're missing some uh, in very crucial ingredients. So have a think about what you're cooking, gather your ingredients, have them at home, um, and that is why most cooks will talk about a store cupboard. So have your ingredients and then it takes the frustration out of cooking and you can enjoy your cooking. So enjoy cooking this one. Thank you.